as you can see, Dyson V7 battery on the left, fully installed. Dyson V8 battery. Oh no, guess what? Don't fit. Put a three, that's probably a 30 cent piece in there so you can't put a V8 battery in a V7. Okay, so I'm back here again today, just cut my hair, uh, starting to get a little worried about some of my hair not growing like it used to. I guess when you get older, you just gotta get used to that. But um, why I wanted to make this video today is uh, when I got on the internet, I said, I've got, I've got a bunch of Dyson work vacuums that are V7 and I'm wanting to build a, um, some new ones for work. And the V8 has a bigger battery life. so. When I get on YouTube and I research uh, Dyson V7 V8, every single person says the only difference between a Dyson V7 and V8 is the battery. Well, unfortunately those people have never probably taken a vacuum cleaner apart because there's very clearly some big differences in the mounting tabs for a Dyson V7 and V8. I went to try to shove a V8 battery in a V7 and it didn't work. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the difference is and then I'm actually going to modify this brand new Dyson V8 battery. The, the OEM battery on a V7 is 2100 uh, milliamps an hour MAH and this Dyson V8 battery I got is 8000. So you're talking four, almost four times the amount of battery life out of this battery than the OEM Dyson battery. So that should give me about 60 minutes of vacuuming. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the differences here and then I'll go through the extra Dyson V7 uh, body that I have and show you what Dyson has done on why a V8 battery will not fit a V7 model and then we'll modify. Well, I gotta go out to the garage. I've lost all my Dremel bits uh, from the remodel and the move out to the garage. So I've actually got to fire, I fired the air compressor up and I got some other bits so that's gonna be a little crude but it's gonna work. So yeah, I'll show you the difference here in the V7 model. Let me get zoomed in here. Okay, so on the left side here, we have the Dyson V7. And on the right, we have a Dyson V8. And as you can see, the Dyson V7 has a longer shaft and then it knurls off there, or a shorter shaft, where the Dyson V8 has a long shaft that goes all the way up. Now, why would they do that? Well, they do that because they do not want this battery fitting the same as this battery into their model. I understand why they did it. I think it's a bunch of BS. Um, so we're gonna mark this battery approximately like this and go out there and we're gonna shave the metal. The The screw hole where the screw hole goes will line up exactly the same. They use the in the, on the Dyson V7 model, and the, and the V8 model, they use the exact same body. It's just the internal parts, they, they, they insert on a V7 a metal circlip on the inside of the body that will not allow that battery to slide up into the unit. Otherwise, all the, all the other parts are made the same for the trigger unit, to the filter, to the, the cyclone. To the battery mounts they're all the same they just added one extra piece in the v7 so you can't jam a v8 battery in there okay so what we have here is this is the dyson v7 that i'm going to show you here i don't know if we're going to be able to get enough light in there but i'm going to show you the piece that they installed on why a battery will not fit On the inside of this unit, as you see down there, there's a little T8 Torx head. Now this is the bottom side of where the battery goes in. And what you can see, the red piece is for the trigger and to the right there just slightly is a T8 Torx head on the right side here that you're looking at. And there's a metal protrusion in there that keeps the battery from sliding in. I'm not going to be able to show you because of the light. Right there, see the tab? Not the red tab on the left, but there's a black tab farther down. And then there's a screw holding that tab in. And that's the piece that Dyson installs so the V8 battery won't go in there. So we're just going to leave that tab in there 
because somehow it's clipped into the body I tried to remove it and it wouldn't remove and then we'll just modify the battery and cut a notch in this battery to, to let it slide up in there. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to basically mark where my cuts need to be. And we'll start with that and then test fit as needed here. Okay, so I've been dying to basically use this vise. And we're just gonna mount our battery in this vise. And then I'm gonna cut the, uh, the notches back. We're not gonna grip this very hard on this battery so it don't explode. We're just gonna slightly put it in there. I've already got the air compressor turned on. I actually was going to use this smaller bit, but I can't find the die grinder pieces, so I'm actually going to, we're going to use the actual die grinder to cut this. It, uh, it ain't going to be no match for that blade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down, then I'm going to cut, cut across. Get my safety goggles on. Well, it's only about 100 degrees in this garage. Okay. And my gloves. And just so some of you know, my shirts are extremely tight. I'm trying to lose some weight so I don't have to buy new clothes. So I've started exercising again. So started to, never had any health problems my whole life until the, the virus hits and I gained 30 pounds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut down and then we're gonna cut across. see if that's gonna work. I took a little notch off the top, I probably shouldn't have done that. So now that uh, we have this cut, this V8 battery, this is my spare V7. This is, I'm actually gonna build my own vacuum cleaners for anybody that's interested. I've got about 15 of these to start on. Um, I'm gonna go with the V7 model instead of the V10 as these were based off of the original Dyson vacuums and then the V6 and then uh, they upgraded to the V8. I think this is the best design. But we're just gonna slide our body over and then see if we work. Hey, what do you know? V8 battery and a V7, real simple to do. Okay, you may have a little issue with putting the the screws in. Just make sure you can get the screw toward the hole and then we're going to kind of go down a little bit to get the screw in. Then we're going to flip this around here. Then we'll just put our other two screws in the bottom. And this is not a Dyson battery, 
So I'll put the links below on the one that I bought here. You can purchase it through Amsoil. Any purchase helps. And then make sure to check out my play, my video playlist for the other vacuum cleaners. On uh, I'm going to try to start doing these vacuum cleaner videos at least one a week and get a playlist built up. So there we go. Installing a V8 battery for more life into your old V7, it's, it, it's a must.